What's up everybody, it's your boy The Muncher here and I just got back from Rachel, Nevada. So what happened was I drove from Rachel, Nevada to the Backgate Road and at the Backgate Road I pretty much saw the white camo dudes, the actual siren went going off and a bunch of other stuff. So you guys are gonna wanna see this. Now, the first 60 minutes of this video are actually gonna be me just straight driving down the Backgate Road and I recorded the whole thing just so other people know what it's actually like, the full experience were to say of just driving down an empty dirt road with nothing on the left nothing on the right no indication of a military base straight ahead and so just skip that part if you don't want to see it, it should be the first about 16 17 minutes of the video and then i'm going to actually show up at the area 51 base go over a few facts and you'll be happy to see a few camo dudes a siren and a bunch of other random stuff stay tuned hey what's up everybody so i am in the town of rachel nevada so right over there you can see is Rachel and if you know where I am I am on the extraterrestrial highway and right over there is the back gate road which will take us to the back entrance of area 51 which is technically going to be behind that mountain and so I'm going to be starting to drive right now and I'll be putting this camera on top of the sunroof right here so you guys can see the entire road so come with me on this adventure and let's check this out
alien protection gear on, uh, or maybe even microwave, whatever the fucking bullshit it is these days. But I got my protective gear on right here, and I am in front of Area 51. So, I don't know whether this barbed wire in that back gate, the second one over there, came after the Raid Area 51. I'm trying my best to scream at you guys because this wind is going crazy. But either way, as you can see, no drones allowed. So all of this airspace behind us is absolutely restricted. And the property is owned by the United States Air Force. So nobody except the United States Air Force is pretty much gonna allow you to fly over anywhere near this or else they're gonna ground you immediately and you might get your license taken away to fly a plane. Now, over here is the actual gate. As you can see, US Air Force installation, no trespassing, no photography. Show badge for entry sign over there. There you are, that's the gate, second gate they have. Sometimes this gate is up, sometimes this gate is down. It really depends on the day. And now, over there, oh, you see the white van over there. You see that? That's gonna be a Fed. Now, there is a Fed watching. Let's hope something does not bad happen to me. So, the Fed is parked over there, and they have a door open. Now, while we're talking, and I'm gonna try to make this quick so I can get out of here. Oh, the Fed's going into the office over there. Either way, there's a dump truck over there. There's an open garage over there. So I'm assuming there's still construction, active construction going on with uh, other government partnerships. So whoever's allowed, it probably has limited clearance. So like you can see, you can see the white Ford over there. There's a guy walking back into the actual vehicle. And let's see which direction they go to. And I'm really hoping I don't get fined or arrested for making you guys this video. But I love you guys, so I'm making you guys this video. So, right over there, I don't know what kind of camera that is or if that's a camera at all. Not sure. It could be like an infrared sensor. Um, short history is, this is called Groom Lake, Homie Airport, also Area 51, whichever you want to call it. So Area 51 is going to be, I think, about 20 to 30 miles actually down this road. And what's gonna happen is it's built on a salt bed. So the actual airport was built in the 1950s or 60s, I believe, during the Cold War to fly the U-2 plane and uh, SR-71 and many other projects that are still actively going on here. So all of this land is gonna be owned by the United States Air Force. Behind this land, is going to be the Nevada test site, which is going to be, I think, owned by the United States Department of Energy, the United States Department of Energy, and also UN, uh, U.S. Uh, Energy Commission. I think it's the Atomic Energy Commission, something with nuclear. Now, all of this land over here is going to be owned by the Bureau of Land Management or the U.S. Department of Interior. And most of Nevada is actually owned by the federal government. So about 70%, that's gonna be a rough estimate myself. And that Fed is still there. They pulled up about 10 minutes ago. How's it going? Good, how are you? Same shit, different day. <laughs> but yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I am going to be leaving right now because I think more feds just came out. About two more just got into that vehicle or are going between back and forth in that building. So we do know that building back there is actually housed by somebody. I don't know about these two over here considering they have reflective mirrors. And I think that vehicle is leaving back to the actual base or patrol, one or the other. Now, you guys might have not seen it because I turned off the camera for a brief moment. That federal vehicle is gone. I think about two people were actually in that vehicle. They're probably going on either patrol or back to the actual base itself. Now, 
what we know for sure as of this moment is that that office is clearly manned and operational we do not know about those two buildings right there because they have reflective windows so we're in the clear for now and hopefully they don't come back to harass me actually yeah probably harass me but yeah we'll see so thanks for watching guys hopefully i don't get a court summons or some other shit in the future i'm doing this for you guys like i said so subscribe if you want to see more content i don't know what's going on but the sound is going off oh no never happens This is the first time that I've seen this. I don't know how often this happens, but the siren is still going off. I don't know why, but the siren is going off. I was just about to leave and the siren started blaring. Absolutely crazy. It's right there. We're gonna leave. So guys, right now I'm about eight minutes into driving on Backgate Road back to Rachel and that was absolutely crazy. So it was right after those new people showed up with the DSLR camera and they started taking, I guess, detailed pictures that that alarm started going off a lot because I was there for about 20 minutes just doing retakes and doing whatever I needed to, catching some footage. They didn't do anything, even the Fed showed up in the, in the Ford truck, nothing happened, right? Until those people pulled up with like a very high powered camera and started aiming it and then that alarm just started blaring. So after that alarm started blaring, I stayed about maybe five to 10 minutes at most just waiting to see if it would turn off or anything like that and it didn't so then i just started driving about maybe a thousand feet down the road i stopped to see if it turned off maybe it was because of me and no it did not turn off it just kept going and i was just like okay maybe it's just trying to warn get the people out of there and it was crazy i was like you know what just in case they're trying to warn us and get us out of here i'm just gonna leave you know i'll heed the warning i don't know about those guys they kept on taking pictures they were not bothered but hopefully they do not get arrested or prosecuted for anything that they've done because I don't know what the video, uh, video and the photography was but it, there was clearly a sign posted that said that it is not allowed. So right now, like I said, going to Rachel and you can see it right over there and I'm approaching the end of the Backgate Road so let's hope we can get some interviews. Alright, so here we are in Rachel, Nevada. We just passed the sign and we are going to go to that first gas station on the left see if anybody wants to interview but there is the extraterrestrial highway sign coming up right about now Whoosh. so the woman that does run this actual shack it's like a convenience store just left on her way out i just caught her on the way out she declined the interview for the most part and what happened was she pretty much told me the story that once uh, or once to three times a summer the sky above this region just lights up and she told her husband hey the sky's lighting up and the husband just says oh they're probably just running another test and so she's just confused on what's going on but that's what she told me was the craziest thing that went on so now just off the highway, we are here at the Little Alien. It's a bar, motel, and a restaurant. So the business did not also allow recording or video or any of that sort of stuff. So I couldn't actually go ahead and interview, but I do see some people outside. So let's hope they give a good interview, possibly. All right, I even tried uh, interviewing some other people that were just like tourists and mixed with some locals. Nobody around here wants to get videotaped, interviewed, photographed in any way. It could just be because they are very annoyed or because they don't want to get in trouble somehow. Because how it sounded when the two people I asked is that they were superstitious in a way. They were just like, oh yeah, I don't like getting in trouble. I don't want to get involved in that stuff. I don't know if I believe in aliens. I mean, one of them said yes, the other one said no. 
It's another one also said there's a possibility. They were all over the place. But uh, yeah, that was my adventure in Rachel, Nevada. A place that uh, nobody wants to answer any questions. <laughs> but yeah.